Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Facebook catalog on your WooCommerce business. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So how you can do it, I'm going to do it with a Microsoft, with a plugin, which is called CTX Feed. You can go on the plugin section and click on the add new plugin. And uh, what do you have to do? I'm going to do, do it just in front of you. Okay, just write CTX feed and boom, you'll find it, just install it. And, and after that, you will find out that activate and activate it. And this is found just after you're, you know, at the panel, back, uh, left side panel, you'll find it. So then go to make feed, all right? Go to make feed and then create your feed right now. Okay, as I'm from Bangladesh, it is on the Bangladesh, select template, just for your for Facebook catalog, click on it, and then file name, you name it, whatever, let's say clothing brand of Naeem, all right? I'm, I'm just copy it because sometimes I have to use it, clothing brand of Naeem, and then go to, this section, Facebook product category. Just select a category according to the business. So I'm in the plant business. So the name is, uh, let's say, patio gardens and plant default. Everything is default. Okay, boom. So upgrade, click on upgrade and generate feed. You'll find out a, a link over, over there. And this link is in an XML link. Just copy it. And then go to your business manager and at the you know at the setting button you'll find it and then go to the settings okay i'm going to show you what you have to do you click on it and then go commerce manager all right then click on it and then continue. If you don't have, um, if you have already, then you can select on. I'm gonna just name it. Okay, <laughs> this is okay. Just so clothing brand. Just name whatsoever you name it. Click on the next, and uh, then you have to figure out your pixel name. This is what I'm using uh, for my web, uh, website. If you want to uh, see how I set up the Google Tag Manager, then you can uh, find this video. Uh, I will put it in the I, I button over there. Just click on the toggle and then click on next. All right. So, and then if you want to give someone access to it, you can assign it. It's up to you. As we are doing it with, you know, automatically, I mean, using plugin, then uh, I can we can do it. If you want to, you know, do it manually from, let's say, from your Google uh, Google Sheet, then you can click on manually add your products. So as you are doing everything automatically, I'm gonna click on the connect data and over there, just paste the link that I have you know, uh, copied a couple of minutes ago and then click on the next as I'm from Bangladesh. So I'm um, click, beat it, right? Bangladesh Shitaka. So how, what is the frequency that you want to, you know, update your feed? Uh, let's say you're a brand and you, uh, you update your product every, every single hour, then you can set it up hourly uh that you can do either you know daily or weekly it's all up to you and then upload just see what happens the data feed is being created so let's just see what happens <clears throat> okay add a data source okay i'm gonna do it data source okay 
Okay, pixel. I, I, I'm gonna, you know, make a connection with my pixel. So I'm gonna click on the pixel and then what I have used this one. So click on it. If you want to add more, then you can, you know, uh, click on the checkbox. So boom, and then next. Uh, not trusted user found for clothing brand of your website, a trusted website. Okay. Enter each of the server by comma. Okay. This is the trusted website, by the way. I'm using this free tool. It's a trusted website. Is it trusted? No. This is not trusted, which is so I'm going to go back, cancel. Okay. Just let me see what is my, you know. Mm -mm -mm. I have to go to the Google Tag Manager to find out my. To find out my uh, Facebook pixel, um, pixel, Facebook pixel code. So, yeah, here it is. Clothing brand of nine, and this one. No, it's not. Maybe this one. Yeah. This one, I guess. It's not not a guesswork. Uh, I'll show you everything that how you can understand that it is the Google Tag Manager. All right. So Facebook page view. This code can be found at the back end of my website. So I'm gonna click on it and then go to the back end of my website to just to show you that I am using this. Okay, this is not go to the page view source, and if I click the GTM. Boom, boom, where it is. Okay, GTM. Boom. I have to install plugin, go to the installed plugins. And after that, this is where I have to go to match our Google Tag Manager, you know, account. With our backend, with the backend, go to the dashboard. Something's not working. What is that? What is that? Okay. Installed plugins. Why it is? It seems that something is not working. Okay. This one, look, XP9 and look, XP9. That, that means it's okay. So now go to our uh, pixel code and here we go. Okay. I have created a variable, constant variable for this as, as a result. It is showing like this. It's not a big deal. 710. So that means everything is okay. Okay. Look, just see the items. Uh, it took a little bit time and that's why. Okay. This is our product. So in the item section, you found everything. So yeah. Uh, this is how we can, you know, set up our Facebook catalog. It was a mistake that uh, just after uploading, uh, it showed that something is wrong, but actually it is not. So uh, I'm sorry for <laughs> walking you through uh, all the steps just to make sure that everything is, look, all good.
So if you want to set up your catalog or Google Tag Manager account and Google Tag Manager, everything related to Facebook conversion API, Google conversion, ads conversion tracking, and many other Google Analytics 4, then we can have a chat. That's all for today. So let me just see on the uh, events manager what happens actually. Nothing happens, everything is okay. So just for the sake of seeing things, uh, I'm gonna go to the back end of uh, the Look, you have to set up the conversion API to lower your you know, cost per result, 15%. Look, everything is clear. And okay, show all events, look. Huh. Everything is working. So data source. Mm, clothing brand of nine. This one. It, uh, uh, look, look, data set ID, everything website. Connected catalogs. Look, look, I connected catalogs. So I'm going to do clothing brand. It, it was the practice. That's why I have to. Uh, uh, toggle it off and this is the catalog that I have created in front of you that's why you don't have to be confused so that's all for today's video I think you found this video is very helpful and thank you CTX Speed for making such kind of plugin for us to make our uh, work easy uh, thank you Gracias.